individually. They are world-ranked bocce ball players. Collectively, on a weekend in Chicago, this Pleasanton family were an unstoppable force. And they have the bling to prove it on a national stage. We fear no one. Um, we played well when we had to. Um, but yeah, I did not think we were going in and coming home with a gold medal for sure. The Bernardi family certainly exceeded their own expectations last weekend in Chicago. Congratulations to the Bernardis, 12 to 1. An absolute drubbing. They won seven matches on their way to a national title. It's almost like a high and you don't want to come down. So um, I, I just I just love it. I don't know if we'll ever get back to that or not, but but I'm not giving this back. <laughs> I know that for sure. Dario was joined by his daughter Navina, son Joey, and longtime friend Hallo. With his wife, Natalina, cheering them on. I think she genuinely loves and hates to watch. I think she likes being, you know, right. someone has to be the neutralizer, right? right. It gets hard. Um, I don't, I don't think she minds sitting there and cheering on her kids and her husband and her plus one, Paolo. They became the first family to win a natty and felt the love back home from their extended bocce family. It was nice to win one for California because there, there weren't that many California teams. I had 187 text messages after the game. Um, it, it was so much fun. The only person missing in Chicago was Dario's 89-year-old mom. But Joey set up her computer before he left so she could watch every roll. Her caretaker, Naomi, was kind of saying, God, your mother was yelling at you when you made a bad shot. And I would look at her and I'd go, really, Mom? And she said, you know, and, but she she had a smile on her face. Um, priceless, just, just priceless. 